Hey guys, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas break. Um, I hope it was relaxing and peaceful. And I also hope you're ready to jump back in. It's okay if you're not, I'm not really either, but that's okay. Um, this first week, we're gonna take it kind of slow. Um, basically what I am wanting to do is I want you to set your goals for the new year. Um, we're gonna look at how you've done on some of your past tests from last semester. Um, today, we're going to start with looking at the growth measure benchmark that you took on HMH, both your first test and your one um, you took right before Christmas break to see how you improved. Um, hopefully, you didn't go backwards. I had a few people do that. What that tells me, um, just to be completely honest, is that you were trying harder at the beginning of the year and you didn't feel like trying as hard before Christmas break, which motivation goes down. I understand that. Um, but if you really want to see if you're improving or not and um, you really care about passing this class and the star test, that's really something I want you to try hard and focus on. OK, um, so hopefully at the end of the year, these scores should all be higher than the beginning of the year. You've been practicing English and reading every single day. Um, just a friendly reminder that if you are remote and you are not reading at home every single day for this class, you have to be. You have to read for 10 minutes a day. It does not matter what. You can pick a book. You can pick an ebook. Um, a lot of our journal questions are targeted toward those, but you need to be reading it every single day. Okay, that is a very vital part of this class. Um, also, you are supposed to be completing the journal writes every single day. The digital journals were a little hard to track last semester, so we're gonna kind of change pace and do them in a discussion post. Um, that way it's right there on Schoology and it's easier for me to see. So we'll try that out and see how that goes. Um, I had quite a few of you that just chose not to do the digital journals and that ended up hurting your grade. So hopefully if it's right there on Schoology, that won't be an issue this semester. Um, okay, so today you should have answered that journal question on the discussion post. And now we're going to go on to HMH. This is just a reminder in case you forgot how to log in. Hopefully all of you remember by now, um, but I still seem to always have questions about people not being able to log in. So this login setup has not really changed. Um, you can go to Clever and go that way and it'll let you log in with Gmail. That's probably the easiest way. If you don't want to go to Clever or you don't know how to work Clever, please contact the technology department. But I will show you the other way. You just Google HMH Ed Login and I'll provide the link. I always do. Um, but up here, you have to change it to district. So if it says anything else at the top, if it's saying username and password, you are on the wrong screen. You do not have a username and password, okay? You have to click district at the top. You'll click, um, when you're already signed on, it says sign into district. Uh, click district, and then I have a lot of questions about these. If you don't know what state we live in and what school district we're in, I have some questions for you, okay? So you should know that these are Texas and Robinson down here. Um, so we'll go to Texas Robinson. And yes, Robinson is an independent school district. No, I don't have any idea why we have to click district. It makes no sense to me, but um, I'm not a technology guru and I don't know how to fix it. I've tried, so we're just gonna have to work with what is, but hopefully um, there are more complex ways of logging into other things. So on your screen, um, my home screen looks a little bit different, obviously, because I'm a teacher, so I have all of my classes on here. Um, but you should have a tab right over here where mine says professional learning. You should have a tab that says scores. OK, I want you to click on the scores tab and then I have deleted on your list of class assignments. I have deleted everything except for your two growth measure benchmarks. OK, so on your list of scores, you should not see anything. You shouldn't see your test scores from previous tests, anything like that. Those have all been entered into the gradebook. Grades were final for last semester. Everything has been wiped clean. OK, so you should just have growth measure reading, HMH growth measure reading. That's the first one we took. It's in September. Make sure your two dates are correct. September 9th was the day we took that one. Some people were added in later, so I had to re-add theirs. Um, gets a little complicated, but if you have three of them here, don't worry about it. Just focus on the one that you have a score for. Um, 
And then growth measure reading number two, okay? And that is the one that you took two weeks ago on December 15th. So those are your two that you're going to look at. And I want you to look at the scores and then go to the Google form I have on Schoology for you. Um, I don't have Schoology pulled up, but I'll show it to you right here. Hi, Moose. My dog just came out to say hi. And you're going to track your scores right here. So what was your last score on your growth measure benchmark? Okay, so we're looking at our most recent score. Was it considered above level, on level, or below level? I have those levels posted on the Schoology page for you. Um, what was your Lexile level? So it gives you two scores on these. The first score, um, that score that it shows you at the very end, that is your overall HMH growth measure score. That's basically an English score. So are you on level with, um, with English where you need to be for your age? He's not there. Hey, honey. Um, are you on level, above level, um, or below level? And then your Lexile level. Your Lexile level is your reading level, okay? So that's kind of, it gives you a point. You should be between this and this. And those are your, can I help you? That's your reading level. You should be practicing reading every day. So that reading should not go down ever. You're so needy. Okay. Um, and so I have questions for both quest uh, for both tests or both scores. Um, are you happy with your score? Move, get down, sit. Yes or no, and why or why not? Um, what is your goal score for the next benchmark, which we will take at the end of the semester? So you only have three a year. You have beginning, middle, and end. Um, and I'm asking about your HMH score on the first one, not your legs out. What three steps will you take to ensure you meet that goal? Okay, this one's big for me. I think whenever we set goals, we need to also have steps that are reasonable that we can help us attain those goals um, that we can stick to. Okay, so same for your legs out level. All right, and that's it. And you will submit that. Um, and I will go through and check those. Okay, and that's all you'll have to do for today. All right, please let me know if you have any questions. I hope you have a wonderful day.